Did you get that? <laughs> I didn't hit record. Nay! It looks cool. <laughs> I got reminded of this quote by a new friend of mine and it just hit me how much this quote actually describing my last two years in the forest. It is hard to describe what exactly is happening inside of you when you move yourself into a raw environment like a forest. It feels like your brain for the first time getting a real break. I remember the first year in the cabin. I felt so tired constantly. Like my body just let go for the first time in a really long time. But it can also be a very intense and challenging experience that your world is suddenly silent. After so many years of noise. I thought I was in a really good contact with my inner self. But living in a remote place still brought up so many past memories I haven't really digest. Humans are created to be with nature, in nature. And I have felt like a little child coming back home to the forest, with absolutely no skill of how to take care of my simple basic needs. And that I have to learn everything step by step again. But the forest school have come with so much in a string as well. And not the smallest one. I cannot even be cool about this. <laughs> How do you do this? More, more strength. And don't, please calm down like that. Okay, we need to stop okay. please. Okay. Are we in the shop? I think so. Okay. The mo what you did now was yeah. you stand, stood like this yeah. on the side, yeah. which means if you hit like this, yeah, you're fine. gonna do that. Okay. And then your knee is gone forever. So always wide legs, a bit bent. <laughs> I feel so stupid. Yeah. Like that? Yeah. Right, I usually do. I can take them on the end. Do I hold it in the correct way? That's gonna have like a manly pose in the background. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl. Come on. Come on, you can do this. Oh, you need the sound as well, see? Yeah. But mine would be. Yeah. <laughs> it's not that. Now Christina is uh, searching for the easiest file with the cat. What are you doing? Nothing. I'm huh? just telling you how much I love you. <laughs> Breathe in and then out. You look like a very pissed off Danish girl. <laughs> You're standing extremely wide with your I legs. I know, but it's because I'm afraid. I don't think you're gonna get that much power then. It's a bit no, more together. No, but if I go down, it's not hitting me. No, oh, that's not exactly true. Did you get that? <laughs> I didn't hit record. Nay! Really? It looks cool. <laughs> oh, I love her so much.
I just think we realized very much like how important it is that you, even though you are in a relationship and we love each other, to to make sure that you have your own space to feel yourself. Yeah, because I have the philosophy that I will never be a good boyfriend if I'm not um, getting the time I need for myself. Mm. Um, that. I know that sounds selfish, but I can't, like I see this as a, like different buckets. If the me bucket is not filled up with like good sleep, uh, positive mm. energy, creativity, mm -hmm. it can't pour over to the relationship bucket. If I'm half Makes empty sense. all the time, it's yeah. just like I have nothing to give. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. I can feel I've been really afraid that we are getting into like a that you, you know, that I'm an annoying thing for you instead of being a positive thing and the no. other way around because I'm interrupting, you know, Kelly is working in the corner and I'm actually interrupting your space constantly. Hmm. I was like, <laughs> thinking about it. That the last day of me uh, editing my video, I was like, okay, I'm not gonna get annoyed. I'm just gonna <laughs> sit here and work. Mm -hmm. And then two seconds later, <laughs> you both started vacuuming and doing a smoothie at the same time. Like, <laughs> It's like, oh, total yeah. meltdown. But, it, but at the same it's time, it's equally your space. So, but at the yeah. same time, I feel I have to like go on tippy toe constantly mm, in my totally own home. Yeah, I know. Yeah, uh, and that's really frustrating as well. Yeah, it's so. not fair for anyone. So, and it's a bit funny because I've been I've been looking at other couples like that living in a very crowded space, and I'm like. Oh, but they can do it, so I must, you know, I must be able to do it. Yeah, but, also, but that's yeah, on camera. That's on camera, I know. And that's also, sometimes I just like, maybe I should just respect that I actually just need to feel only myself mm -hmm. and not feel everybody else around me constantly. Yeah. Yeah. And own that, that that is and, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because what I'll come a bit back, like, back to those comments, like, I feel a bit like in a guilt, I think, like, why can't I just do this? Like, how hard can it be, like, to be in you know one room with the man you love mm -hmm. and live the life you love? Mm -hmm. But life is challenging. Mm -hmm. And working from home, getting this to work, earning enough money, it is stress. Yeah, it is. So the build out is like we can just see when kids is coming as well. It's gonna be <laughs> if yeah. you already feel like that with two persons. Yeah, that's yeah. gonna be a lot. Yeah, so the build out is like uh, necessary, necessary, and it's, for our relationships. Yeah, yeah. I think that's our strength in our channels as well that we are, or at least trying as much as we can to be honest about it. Mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to simple living or relationship or running a company or yeah. for watching this video it always makes me so happy to read you oh this was a bit hard <laughs> to read your amazing comments down below and yeah it's just so cozy to put up a new video and say hi to you again 
And remember, if you want my banana pancake recipes, go down in the description and be part of my free hormonal advice newsletter I'm sending out every week, normal every Sunday at the moment. Now I want to drink my big cup of uh, tea and go to bed and see you very soon here on YouTube again. Mm. See you. Thank you.